It's here, ladies and gentlemen, the first true multi-window, multitasking experience on the iPad, courtesy of Quasar. This is a jailbreak tweak that just dropped on Cydia. It's $9.99, so it's not cheap, but it works pretty well, I have to admit. Now, it, it does have some bugs. There are some glitches involved, but I'm impressed by what I see here, and it, it bodes well for the future. As you can see here, I've, I've opened up a Safari window, and I'm just dragging it around. I can put it in a full screen like that. If I don't like the full screen, I just hit the home button, and we go back into the um, window view like that. You can also drag it around just by grabbing a little handle at the bottom. Hit the home button to go back to your home screen. Open up another app and you can see the new app overlaps the current app. And I can drag both of them around like that. Now, there is a little problem with the orientation. For some reason, it orients it upside down initially. Um, so there, there are some little glitches and, and bugs with this so far. But as you can see there, there's one of them. <laughs> but... I'm still impressed by what I see here. Whether or not it's worth $9.99 is going to be up to you. I don't think it's worth $9.99 yet, but it, it definitely has potential, as you can see here. So we're just going to drag that around here, rotate it, um, and we can just close it out. Try it again. Let me turn the rotation lock on. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Okay. Let's go back to our home screen. Let's open up another app. Let's see. What are we going to open up here? Let's scroll over. How about... I don't, Tweetbot, that'll do. And as you can see, that starts upside down as well. But if you rotate it, it seems to fix itself. It seems to fix the orientation. Of course, you can throw it into full screen mode, hit the home button, go back into the uh, window view. You can throw this into full screen mode. So you can switch between the two like that. It's really easy to use. It's Quasar, folks, available right now for jailbroken iPads running iOS 5. This is iPad exclusive. One other thing I noticed is that if you, if you move the um, screen to where that little bottom handle, I guess you can call it, the bottom gray bar, if that's out of view, you can no longer move your window. So you have to make sure it doesn't accidentally position itself out of view. So that's another little opportunity for improvement that we have here. But for the most part, I am really impressed with how smooth this runs on an iPad 2, no less. Now, granted, when the screen is small, it's hard to discern the text because the iPad 2 screen, it just isn't a retina display. Now, if this was running on a jailbroken iPad 3, if we had a jailbreak for the iPad 3, this would work a lot better, I think. You would be able to actually read the text on some of these minimized windows. As it stands, it's kind of hard to see what the text uh, says on some of these windows when it's, when it's minimized or when it, the window um, is small. But still, man, you have to be impressed by what you see here. You have to be impressed by how smooth this runs. And you can open up multiple apps and have them overlap each other just like that. Pretty cool. You can put it in a full screen. So I've just been just kind of testing this out for the last, you know, half an hour or so. Multitask gestures, I wasn't able to get that working. I don't think maybe those aren't enabled. Let's go back to our settings app here. There we go. Let's rotate that. And you can see you can rotate it also in portrait view, which is nice. Scroll down here. Looks like multitask gestures are enabled. So it looks like this just disables that. It doesn't really make sense, I guess, to have multitask gestures. It would be nice if you could just switch windows quickly using that, but apparently you can't do that now. Of course, the app switcher still works. That gesture works, but the uh, switching of apps doesn't appear to work. So just another thing to keep in mind here. Okay, so that is Quasar, folks. Uh, it's really simple as far as the settings. There aren't many settings to consider here. There's there's basically just a kill switch, um, and that's it. But you have to be impressed by what you see, as, as I was stating here. Uh, let's open up Cydia and check out Quasar settings. Now, with Cydia, since it, it rotates, no matter how you orient your iPhone or iPad, Cydia always tries to say orient it correctly. That can cause a problem with this because it always wants to be upside down. Okay, so let's go back out and find Quasar here. Go to our installed packages. Scroll down. And there we are. Quasar. $9.99 on Sidious Big Boss Repo. Quasar is the very first window manager for the iPad. Now you can run apps and windows on your iPad. Simply open any application 
and it will be open in a window just like on a computer on a desktop. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's integrated with the Notification Center and with Safari App Store, YouTube links, so they'll open up in their you know respective windows and respect that window's current location and orientation. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I could recommend this. I, I, in fact, I won't recommend it for $9.99. It's really pricey. Um, but the potential is outstanding. And I think with a few updates, this thing is going to be a must-have for the iPad. Now, for the iPad 3, that is. Once the jailbreak for the iPad 3, for the iPad 2, I just don't see it being worth it because the text is just too hard to discern on a non-retina display when you have the windows, you know, small like they are with this tweak. But it has potential, and that's the key. Let me show you the settings panel real quick for Quasar. There it is. Like I said, not much there. You have a kill switch. Um, you can respring once you disable or enable. It requires a respring. Pretty simple stuff. So I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about this. It's called Quasar. It's available on Cydia's Big Boss repo. Do you think this is worth it? Would you use it on your jailbroken iPad 2? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.